咁第五條呢，我哋就要研究下一棵樹嘅林冠，咁啊林冠嘅頂同林冠嘅底呢嘅樹葉嘅大細嘅。咁你見得到啦，就係、是、林冠嘅頂呢樹葉就細塊啲，林冠底呢就係大塊啲嘅。咁題目就問啦，下面邊一句呢係最能夠解釋得到呢？林冠頂同林冠底佢哋嘅葉啊，點解有咁樣大細嘅分別呢？咁其實成條題目呢，就好考我哋嘅邏輯思維嘅，因為啦好多呢，你見得到啦，都係嗰啲 because 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 because， 你就真係要睇清睇楚佢係咪真係嗰個原因，你要搞清搞楚加完個因為係咪就會變成咗個理由先，成日都係嗰個例子啦，因為我食完飯會飽，所以我要食飯係錯㗎嘛，因為你餓，所以我要食飯，食完飯所以你就會飽。係呢個因果關係啊嘛，咁而家逐句睇咯，咁第一句呢，就話林冠頂嘅葉呢，之所以咁細塊呢，係因為佢哋接收唔夠足夠嘅水喎。嗱呢句錯呢，就係因為啦，如果成棵植物吸唔夠水嘅話呢，應該係根本成棵植物都唔能夠咁高啊。所以就唔會話啦，去吸水呢，吸到嚟呢度嘅啫，啊啲水上唔到去嘅，咁啊明明太荒謬啦。因為成棵植物嘅木質部應該係貫穿晒成棵樹㗎嘛，咁咪唔會話唔夠水嘅。如果真係唔夠水嘅話，係成棵樹都唔夠水啦。B 就話啦，林冠頂嘅樹葉之所以較為細塊呢，係因為呢，佢哋能夠減少到個失水。喎。咁我哋諗真呢個邏輯就係、是，如果呢一句真係正確嘅話啦，應該係全部樹葉都係咁細塊、咁細嘅表面面積。從而去減少失水，好似松樹所有葉都係針狀噶嘛。咁但係而家唔同喎，林冠頂咧就細塊啲，但係林冠底嘅樹葉大塊，又失翻多啲水，咪即係揾自己笨咯。咁所以 boy 咧都係錯嘅。跟住去到 C 啦，林冠底嘅葉咧就係大塊啲，係因為佢哋能夠儲多啲嘅嘢食。其實呢句都係邏輯謬誤啦。佢之所以能夠儲多啲嘢食。係正正係因為佢夠大塊啊嘛，所以呢句説話唔可以用 because 應該咧就轉做所以佢能夠坐到啲嘢食，都叫做 high 邊咧可以啱飯。咁所以答案呢就一定係 D 啦，就係、是、講林冠底嘅樹葉呢，就係大塊啲，所以啦佢哋就能夠吸返啲流網之光啊！我哋有流網之餘啦，今次有流網之光，就係咁啊！因為木冠嘅頂呢，樹葉太細塊，咁可能真係有啲流網之光呢，咁啊俾林冠底嘅樹葉呢，就可以吸返佢啦。所以呢個呢，就係棵植物嘅適應性特徵，確保佢呢能夠吸得最多嘅光攞嚟做 photosynthesis 啦。In question five, the photograph shows the leaf taken from the different parts of the canopy of the same tree. So you can See that the leaves from the top of the canopy is smaller, and the leaves from the bottom of the canopy is a bit larger. Question is, which of the following is most likely the explanation for the difference between the leaf taken from the two parts of the canopy? So the question is checking the concept that we need to beware of the logical relationship between the explanation and the phenomenon. Adding the word because will not really make your point be the reason. A metaphor I always use is that, why do you eat? It's because you are hungry, and after the meal, you will become full. So you can see that the cause and effect. So you cannot say that I eat because after eating I will be full. Being full is the consequence of having a meal. It's not the reason of having a meal. So beware of that. So that's why in this question you need to be aware of the because 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 is it really the reason? So let's take a look at option A. The leaves from the top of the canopy are smaller because they do not receive sufficient water to grow. Option A is wrong. If there were insufficient water supply, it would limit the whole plant growth. But not just the leaf from the top of the canopy, because the xylem vessel will go through the whole plant and then transport water to the whole plant, no matter the top of the canopy or the bottom of the canopy. And for option B, the leaves from the top of the canopy are smaller because they can reduce water loss to the transpiration. If this statement were true. All the leaves should be smaller, with a smaller surface area to reduce the water loss, just like the pine tree. And option B is not that reasonable. Even the size of the leaf from the top of the canopy is smaller in order to reduce the water loss. However, the leaf from the bottom of the canopy they are larger, and there will be a greater water loss. So it doesn't make sense for the plant to reduce water loss. And for option C, the leaves from the bottom of the canopy are larger because they can store more food from photosynthesis. So for this statement. It's just what I say that adding the word because will not really make your point become the reason. Storing more food should be the consequence of having larger leaves. So that's why if we need to change this statement, we should change because to become so. So it can help you to explain having a larger leaves to store more food. So the answer is D.
The leaves from the bottom of the canopy are larger because they can collect the light escape through the top of the canopy. That's the point. That's the adaptation for the plant to absorb the greatest amounts of light for photosynthesis. The reason is that because the leaves from the top of the canopy they are so small, they may not be able to capture all the light. Therefore, there are larger leaves at the bottom of the canopy to absorb the light escaping through the top of the canopy.